All right, guys. So finish off with rapid reaction. A lot of topics, a little bit of time. Let's go, drink. All right, let's roll, baby. Atlanta Hawks all-star point guard Trey Young said he was mad and frustrated that the Hawks weren't included in the NBA restart plan. Jay, do you feel sorry for Trey Young? Nope. Duke Athletic Director Kevin White says he's concerned about potential abuse of name, image, and likeness legislation and the unfair recruiting advantages that might result. Are his concerns valid? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes, because he know these young kids are – most likely going to go to to the bigger cities now if that's the case la miami new york et cetera, et cetera. but i don't think duke is the school to complain about something like this i mean their brand alone should carry the day for them when it comes to getting these young kids in but i, I do think he got a valid point the browns are working on a potential mega extension with defensive end miles garrett your thoughts on this no helmet included yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that because that's the first thing I thought of too. If there was ever a time for like a keep your helmet on clause, this would be the contract to put it in. Colts quarterback Philip Rivers admitted Wednesday that the talk last season about his career being done aggravated him. I think he's talking to you, Drink. Yeah, me too. But hey, <laughs> hey, he should feel that way. Here's the deal: you stunk up the joint last year, you stunk it up, and you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself, Philip. But hey. Now you're in a better position with the coach. So prove me wrong, Philip. Prove me wrong. In an interview with ESPN Carl Ravage, uh, Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred said he's 100% sure that there will, there will be a 2020 baseball season. Do you take him at his word? You know, I really want to, but, you know, you know, me and we've been talking about this for the past few weeks now, and there, there haven't really been all that any encouraging developments. So. Um, I want to, but it's hard, it's hard to get my hopes up right now. The SEC has announced it will hold virtual football media day rather than the usual in-person event. You're not surprised about this, are you? No, nah, no, nah, it's too risky. It's just too risky. I'm pretty sure um, not all the coaches or players would have shown up to this event anyway due to COVID, so I'm, I'm not surprised. Patriots running back Sonny Michelle is recovering from foot surgery he underwent in the May. Are you concerned about this? Uh, I'd be more concerned about uh, what Jared Stidham's going to look like under center because um, I, don't, I don't care if he's got a good foot or bad foot. Uh, he, it's going to be hard for him to average three yards a carry if Jared Stidham out there flopping around, can't complete a pass. Anyway, last one. Tomorrow even on ESPN in Las Vegas at the UFC Apex Center, it's a UFC flyweight main event between the number one ranked flyweight contender Jessica I versus the 10th ranked contender Cynthia Cavillo. Who you got? Uh, I'm going to go with Cavio. That's one of my, you know, personal favorites right there. Uh, she got crazy heart. She really tough. And the best of all, hey, she hungry. She won it. Plus, I, you know, lost her last fight. And by the way, she missed weight. So, you know, that show you the discipline. But, um, you know, this is her first fight since losing the title fight against um, Shell Chaco. So I'm, I'm really curious how she respond from that. And um, listen. Calvi is a young killer, and she coming. All right. That concludes today's Drink of Wisdom. I'm Cody Ward. I'm Jay Wise. And I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today, and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we're going to do. We're going to holler at you until next time, baby.